right here we have the Trilogy EV300 ventilator, the latest ventilator designed and manufactured by Philips Respironics. The Trilogy EV300 ventilator comes with an 8 inch touchscreen, alarm silence button or alarm indicator, on off standby button, at the top there's an alarm bar, and a carrying handle. On the patient panel side, there's an USB port, inspiratory port, proximal pressure port, active exhalation valve port, and flow sensor cable connector. On the back panel, there's the FiO2 sensor access panel, air inlet with foam filter attached as you can see, high pressure O2 hose, and a power cord attached neatly to the ventilator. The Trilogy EV300 ventilator can deliver oxygen either through the high pressure O2 hose for patients requiring high O2 or it can be delivered via the low flow oxygen inlet here. This is useful during transportation or when O2 is delivered from an O2 concentrator. You can also find a USB port, remote alarm port, and detachable battery. This ventilator comes with two batteries, internal battery and detachable battery, which provides a total of 15 hours of battery backup if fully charged. It takes only three and a half hours to fully charge both batteries. There is also a DC power connector. You can use an external DC power source such as a vehicle battery to power and charge the device if the 15 hours of backup battery ever runs out. Now I will explain the circuit selections for the ventilator. For Trilogy EVO, there are four selections to the circuit. First is the passive, then there is the active PAP, followed by the active flow circuit type, as well as the dual limb circuit. For this demo purpose, I will be explaining on the passive circuit setup as well as the dual limb circuit setup. This passive circuit comes together with a whisper swivel. Whisper swivel is an exhalation port where you need to attach together with the, with the circuit like this. And this circuit packaging also comes together with a bacteria filter This is where you attach the passive circuit and that is the passive circuit setup, that is all. You can also use your existing V60 circuits for the Trilogy EVO. You just need to remove the proximal pressure line, close the proximal pressure line port, make sure that your exhalation port over here is not blocked, make sure you have a bacteria filter. That, that is it. Next, I will show you the dual limb circuit setup. The dual limb circuit comes attached together with the proximal pressure line. Make sure you have your AEV as well as diaphragm attached to the exhalation outlet. Okay. Inhalation outlet over here. Attach the circuit to your exhalation outlet of the proximal pressure line to the proximal port over here. The last thing that you need is the flow sensor. You will have your flow sensor cable attached to the flow sensor port. At the bottom over here, okay. you will have the reusable flow sensor. This is how you attach it. Just a click and it is attached. And 
then simply just attach this flow sensor to your circuit output here so that is all for the dueling circuit setup press the on off button to power on the device tap on new patient select patient type sex and height Ideal body weight is calculated based on height and gender. This information is used to establish default therapy and alarm settings, including tidal volume. This information also limits setting ranges. Once you are happy with the setting, select Accept and ensure a viral bacteria filter is installed. You are now on the home screen. To edit prescription, select Settings. On this screen, you can select circuit type, size, and humidification status. The circuit type will affect the trigger type selection. Auto T sense, which is suitable for patients below 20 kg, and auto track are only available in passive circuit selection. There is also leak compensation for inhale and exhale tidal volume. For the rest of the circuit selections, only flow trigger is available. For active flow and dual limb circuits, the ventilator only compensates the leak between the ventilator and the external flow sensor. For active PAP circuit, leak compensation is not available. To change the control settings, select Select the preferred modes and you can select its parameters to change the settings. You can do this by either sliding to increase or decrease the parameters or by tapping on the plus or minus button on the right. Once you are happy with the settings, you can tap on the alarm button to check and set your alarm ranges. Each mode comes with its own respective alarm ranges that are settable. To access advanced options, tap on advanced. Backup ventilation is available in the CPAP, PSV and SIME modes. If the backup ventilation option is turned on, set an apnea interval in the alarm settings tab. When an apnea alarm occurs, the ventilator automatically starts backup ventilation. In infant patient and infant circuit size selection, only dual limb circuit type is available. If other circuit size is selected, the active flow circuit selection will be available. In infant patient setup, only ACPC, PSV, SIMEPC, ST, 
and CPAP modes are available. To set up SPO2 monitoring, attach the external pulse oximeter to either of the USB ports on the ventilator. And then attach the SPO2 sensor. The SPO2 sensors are available in infant, pediatric and adult sizes. The SPO2 and pulse rate monitoring parameters are now activated. 